Hello from York. It is Easter bank holiday weekend, which means a four day long weekend here in the UK. And Jas and I have come to York for two nights. It's Good Friday today. We've just checked into the Malmaison Hotel. I've always wanted to stay in one of these and we finally are. It's absolutely incredible. So I'm gonna give you a room tour when the sun isn't blinding me so much, but I'm not gonna complain. It has been a glorious sunny day all day today, all day yesterday. It's been such a lovely week, so I really hope the weather continues. We don't really have a solid plan of what we're doing in New York. We're just gonna wander around, have a little mooch. And then on Sunday, the day we check out, my parents, my sister, my brother-in-law, and my little baby nephew are coming to meet us in New York, which I'm super excited about. Jas seems to think I'm way more excited about seeing my four-month-old nephew than I am about being in New York. And to be honest, he might not be wrong. I'm very, very excited for Sunday. But first, let me show you the room because I'm blown away, it's incredible. So as you walk in from the door, um, you go straight through into the bedroom area. And I absolutely love this bed. Like normally they're always kind of up against a wall, facing the door. It's just a really weird location, but it really works. I love it. And you can obviously get all the sun on your face if you lie down in the daytime, it's great. There's some really cool, like brightly colored artwork on the walls. There are USB sockets by the bed, which I always appreciate because often we have USB points at home um, by our bed and sometimes I forget to bring my actual charging point if that makes sense so got my phone on charge there there's massive windows which obviously is great today because it's a really bright day on this side on this side there's a desk um, which is really cute it's little I love this cushion on the wall although it's not the most comfortable to sit up against but it looks really cool if I take you back to where we walk in, there's a full length mirror here, which is always great in a hotel. It's very well lit, which I like. Ignore my bits and pieces there, but this is really weird. So as soon as you walk in on the right hand side, there's like a dressing table area with a stool and a light up mirror, which I always think is very handy. Um, a sink, <laughs> really cool taps actually, and towels and bits and pieces in this is the shower it lights up very cool it actually looks quite small but it's quite big it's quite hard to get an idea of the space but there we go and then here is the loo very orange this little room is this is wait oh right yeah the door does close thank god for that um and then back this way back this way there's a wardrobe so I'll open one half. There is a kettle, mugs. Ooh, little biscuits, how exciting. Um, oh, just spotted an ironing board in there. Some hangers, a safe and a few bits and pieces. So yeah, it looks like a very nice place to stay for a couple of nights away. Just did a really quick outfit change because it's a sunny day, so I wanted to wear my brightest thing. Not sure these different colors I have going on really work. Like, the, But anyway, whatever. We're now heading out for a walk and to grab a bite to eat because it's about three o'clock, right, Jess? Mm. And we haven't actually had lunch, so yeah. She just stepped outside our hotel and here are the walls that you can walk. And let me just show you the view. This is so cute. So we're just in the York Art Gallery and all of these displays are made out of Kinder Surprise toys. Um, there's like obviously colour coded blocks but it's so unusual. I love the texture. It's really cool. My camera is so filthy, but we've just been into York Art Gallery on our way. Wasn't the best art gallery I've been to. You? Was it the best one for you? No, it wasn't the best. Yeah, I was going to say, it wasn't. Anyway, we're trying to find <laughs> somewhere to get some lunch, early dinner. Look at this. This is so cute. We're about to walk through this and wander down that way. Guys, I'm so out of touch with vlogging. Yeah. I completely forgot I had my vlog camera on me. We've just had the most incredible lunch, right? Hmm. We're in a vegan restaurant. Oh, you know when you just like order a meal and you know, after every mouthful you're like, oh my god, it was amazing. That was me, it was just as me. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was really good as well, but I'm not going to tell you anything about it just yet. I'm going to, there's a post coming on the blog soon, just keep an eye out for it. This food, oh, so good. 
And a bit of food came out, it's a massive portion. Yeah, it's a big portion. We need to walk this off. We need to walk this off. Oh, what? We need to walk this off. Oh, we do have to walk this off, yes. <laughs> no idea where we're going now, but the sun is so nice. Oh, a bit noisy. We went to a place called Donna Summer. Um, oh, I was watching, hold on. York is great, right, but it is disgustingly busy in a bank holiday. Like, what is happening? We're trying to go to this bookshop here. We're in this really cute little bookshop and they've got seven little rooms just like this. But I'm whispering because it's very quiet in here like a library. dirty chai latte with oat milk. We're in a place called um, Ipuku Tea House. It's a Japanese place. I think it's actually a restaurant, but this is what I ordered wherever it's gone. Okay. Go on, take your coffee off. Here we are, the V60 coffee. <laughs> Good morning, here's my outfit of the day. Can you see, the lighting in this hotel room is not very good. I'm wearing a lot of like neutral colours to break up this bag. Anyway, we're off out. Ready? Yep. Let's All go. Right. Turns out the lighting in our hotel room is crap. Um, I have no idea if I've got my makeup on properly. Oh, it looks a bit patchy. It's eight o'clock in the morning. We have a table booked for breakfast at Bill's. Um, I booked it last night. I've got quite a full on day because yesterday I was terrible at vlogging. I kind of forgot I had my camera, had a bit of a lazy day. I say lazy, we did over 10,000 steps just walking around York, but I just forgot to vlog all of it. And today is the day we're doing loads of fun things. Flighting is doing me no favors. Ready to start our day? Yep, I sure am. Woohoo! Oh, is this better? No. <laughs> Lighting is not my friend today. It's very bright in sunglasses. Oh my god, this is what I love about waking up early. York is dead. This is what I was expecting to see because yesterday it was terribly busy. Are these geese? <laughs> this is so funny. Are they just crossing the road? <laughs> That's hilarious. We're at Bill's for breakfast. I've never been here before. I've got the only vegan breakfast on the menu. Can't remember what it was, but that's Oggs. I've never had Oggs. Um, not real egg, vegan bacon, vegan sausage, beans, potatoes, mushrooms, spicy sriracha and tomato. And um, you went for the garden plate, right? No, this is a shawarma. Oh, shawarma. We went for a veggie breakfast. There's no meat in it, but it's poached eggs, feta, avocado, flatbread, pickled red onions. It was so good. How am I going to eat a massive breakfast? I'm not really a breakfast eater normally. <laughs> and it's not even 9am yet. It's too early. It's just gone 9.30 in the morning and now we're heading to the Shambles Market. It's getting a bit busier in York, but still not as crowded as yesterday. Yesterday was really horrible, actually. I was like, hmm, I don't know if I like York. Like, I feel like half of the UK are here, but so far, so good today. And it's nice and sunny again. How was your breakfast, Jess? It's okay, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't give it like 10 out of 10. It's probably more like 7. Yeah, I mean, I had Oggs for the first time. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about them. They're a bit like doughy, floury. I loved the vegan bacon though. I normally don't like vegan bacon. That was so good. But now we're going to walk it off. So cute here. Look at these little houses. No wonder it's called the Shambles. Just pointed out it wasn't in English, and I was like, damn it. 
but it's really quite quiet in here actually and it's stunning. Let me uh, give you a quick tour. just left York Minster and we're kind of wandering around because we had a schedule for today right but we're kind of a bit ahead of time aren't we ahead of time oh yeah we are yeah because we're not hungry for lunch yet I'm certainly not hungry tell you um, what let's try and see if we can sneak into the boat not sneak into it like we've already paid for the boat thing right yeah. for two try and get to the boat earlier yeah see if that yeah. lays in it's getting a bit chilly now as let's, well let's do that um we're outside York Minster and now look at the queue from when we went in it goes all the way where, where am I it goes all the way from like there Round. Anyway, it's really long. My camera's really dirty. I need to try and clean it, Jess. Right, we've come to Zap Thai Street Food for some lunch. We're not like even massively hungry, but we have a boat trip booked. So I've got a vegetarian menu here. They've got so many different choices. It's quite overwhelming. I don't think we're going to do starters, are we, Jess? Just no. mains because it's too much food. But yeah, here we go. This is so exciting, right? So you can choose from a plant-based chicken or plant-based prawns. I'm so gonna go for that. And if you look at like the regular menu, they've got so much choice. Oh, one second. They've got all this and all this. It's very overwhelming. So I've got pad kimao, which is basically drunken noodles with some vegan prawns. It doesn't look that great, I have to say, but I'm very excited to try these prawns though. Yes. Oh my god, that was so spicy. Look at all those chilies I picked out. You I'm went for the dying. sweet chili one, didn't you? Bloody hell, I thought I was a hero. My mouth is literally on fire. Plus on a second glass of water. You got spicy as well, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I can pick like spicy. The guy said how spicy do you want it? She went for the spiciest. Well, it's drunken noodles. It's had to keep out. It's meant to be, but oh my god, why? <laughs> Need a coffee. Dessert? You need, you need, you need so much like, oh, ice cream to like numb your tongue or something. There's a Japanese. Ja the, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't the know. one we went to yesterday. We do Look at my face. It's gone red. Oh, that's blusher. I don't know. Ooh. Right, so we're back to the hotel for another outfit change. Let me just get comfortable. This is what I do because this is the UK and the weather is very unpredictable. We're about to go and drive a boat. Soft drive boat, yeah. Yeah. Kind of fun, but also a bit scary. Let's hope we don't fall in. Um, I'm trying to decide on sunglasses. Mm, these are really cheap £2 Primark ones. They look good, but they're probably not very good for you. <laughs> these are just my usuals. Mm, I might just take both, sod it. We have arrived. Is this where we're driving our boat? This is so cute. <laughs> oh, it's not much of a queue, is there? Right, how's it going, Nish? Good? I want to find boats! <laughs> <laughs> well, this is really slow, I can probably walk faster than this. <laughs> Nish is driving. You're handling quite well. Oh. We just went past, or under, shall I say, the, um, let me check what it says on the leaflet. Oh, that's where we are. I think that's the first one, the second one, I think. House Bridge, I think. Oh, maybe because I'm standing on it. That's there we are. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit. It did tilt a little bit. Hopefully, I'm not that blooming heavy. <laughs> Windy. Where are they going that 
wave dress. That would have been very wobbly, scary standing here, but this is what we're meant to be doing. I think we only went to this bridge actually. We were meant to go here, but we just turned around. So let's just see what happens. Wait, 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 turn around. No, just keep going. Here we go. I'm enjoying the high life as a passenger. So much fun. I feel like I'm in a convertible with like the wind in my hair and everything. Oh, it's so nice and it is such a glor oh, shit. glorious. Hold on, I've got problems. This is why I could never own a convertible because my hair wouldn't look like this. How does it feel, Jess? It's quite, good. It's quite easy driving here, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Not too much. No I mean, you, well, there's no traffic, no pedestrians, no traffic lights, no roundabouts. Oh shit, let me stand on this side. The boat does rock if you both go on the same side of it. Oh, it's so nice! Point turn, Nish. Okay, let's slow it down. <laughs> get some power. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's not quite like 0 to 60 in like two seconds, but you know. We'll get there in about 10 minutes. <laughs> there we are. Are we even waving? Yeah. Yeah, I think we are. Yeah, I guess we are. I hope we are. Such a glorious day. I'm literally steering this boat and vlogging at the same time. But um, I don't want to go back. I feel like this is like literally the best thing to do in your is that an ice cream van on a boat? That's so cool. Can they see it? No, they can't see anything. Um I don't want to go back. I wanna do this again tomorrow. Honestly, if you're in York, just do it. Like it's £45 for an hour. We found a £5 discount code online if you book it on an, online in, in advance. If you pay on the day, because it's so busy today, they're charging £35 for half an hour. So definitely book it in advance. But this is so much fun. So worth the money. Oh, I love it. I feel like the worst vlogger ever. I keep forgetting I've got my camera on me, but we've just been for a really long wander around the shambles and like this town centre. Now we're going for an early dinner because we're waiting for this restaurant to open at six o'clock. It's now just gone six. It's called The Orchid and it's a vegan Chinese restaurant, I think. I'm actually remembering to vlog my food now. So Jas has got a Singer beer, I've got an Asahi and this is vegan pork belly. I've never even seen that on the menu. I'm very excited to try this. Oh my god, this looks insane. So this is vegan lemon chicken, this is vegan Mongolian beef, shiitake mushroom and scrambled tofu, fried rice and salt and pepper chips. Yes! I think we might have missed sunset, but we are walking the walls. I was hoping to get some nice views, but I don't know, it's not that bad. At least it's empty though. This part of the walls is so scary because there's no railing and it's quite a big drop as well. But it's so nice at this time compared to in the day because there's literally no one here. Let's see the view. It's at the railway station, I guess. Here we are, home sweet home. That's our hotel on the right with a Starbucks inside, which is very exciting. Happy Easter Sunday, everyone. We're checking out of the hotel, so I thought I'd give you a quick look at my very last OOTD. I've got a vest top, a t-shirt, a blazer. Probably a bit optimistic for this weather because it's a little bit chillier today. I've got this bag that I love, but doesn't really seem to go with anything. <laughs> this shade of green, it's the viral TikTok Uniqlo bag. I've got some ribbed leggings on, like some corduroy leggings. Trainers, anyway, we are checking out of the hotel, putting our luggage in the car, and then we're gonna go and find some breakfast. And then my family are arriving with my little nephew. I'm so excited to see him. So hopefully it's a really nice day. We had to queue for about half an hour to get a table because everywhere's closed on Easter Sunday. And we wanted to have quite an early breakfast because we've got like a big family early dinner at 4 p.m. So we didn't want to eat too late. So we finally found a table at what's this place called Partizan. We're sat in like their outdoor heated market. Not that warm, but it's really nice in here. Just got my usual oat flat white. You can't see it. Um, yeah. 
I'm excited for a meal, but it's so cold today. We had two days of like really nice weather, and then today it's just suddenly dropped. So once again, I've had another outfit change because this is all I've been doing in this vlog. I swear to God, it's a fashion video or something. Oh my God, this looks insane. It's like a whole, well, a wedge of roast cauliflower, a cashew romesco sauce, like crispy cavolo nero, and just got some huevos. Huevos de delicios, whatever it's called. Divorcio something. or something, something. <laughs> some sort of Mexican breakfast on a wrap, eggs. Is that chorizo? Is that chorizo? Yeah, chorizo, and it's got obviously avocado. Avocado. And some bits and bobs on an egg. Yeah, this looks so good. Look at his little fingers. Oh, look. Is this your first vlog? Oh, it's okay. We're going out in a minute. I think it's because you're trying to slide. I think it's kind of good. Yeah, I've been it for a while. Look at this audience. Cream egg cookie. Where even are we? It's called. Yeah. We're in a place called Bruin Brownie Bake Shop. Wings, I think. Cauliflower wings and oh, salt and pepper onion petals. Yeah. Basically, fancy onion rings, right? We've got hanging kebabs that come with fries, roast potatoes, tender stem broccoli. You're in this, yeah. You pour it over the vegetables. That's fine. I feel like this video has been all over the place because I just keep forgetting that I'm vlogging and then every time I pull out the camera I think I just vlog like random clips but I won't know until I go to edit it. We've now left York, we spent two nights there, we had the nicest day today with my little nephew who's just so adorable, I'm obsessed with that little guy, there's people walking past the car watching me vlog. Um, yeah, so we're now at the services and we are on our way to Leicester, which is halfway between London and York. We're going to spend the night at my grandparents' house and then head home tomorrow because tomorrow is also Bank Holiday Monday. Keep an eye out on the blog because I'm going to be posting lots of York content in the next few weeks. But I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.